Come in, Volodya. Please, have a seat. Is that thing on? No. Don't worry about it. These tapes will be gathering dust deep down in some basement. Shut it off. But... Beklashi, Valeri. As you wish, Colonel. There is no room for the truth on that machine. That's a dangerous word, Volodya. Truth. Such an ambiguous concept. Stop it, Valeri. We are defeated here. I know it, and you know it too. I'm afraid that Moscow cannot accept it. I am not talking to Moscow. I am talking to you. And what exactly are you telling me? That I did not bring my men to America to commit mass suicide. And what is coming, I will need you with me. You can count on me, Volodya. I hope so, Valeri. Now, put that thing on and we'll get this done. Very well. Interview number 478, subject, Colonel Vladimir Pavlov. In his address to the party congress, the general secretary spoke of sacrifices made and sacrifices yet to come. But he emphasized that there is no doubt that we are winning this war and that the end is in sight. It was a rout. Our scattered forces headed for Seattle and the relief we hoped we would find there. To use a nuclear bomb on one's own country, it, it was insanity on a scale unmatched even by our own generals. It also destroyed what dreams we had left of ever achieving victory in America. <laughs> if it hadn't been for the Colonel, we wouldn't have known about Cascade Falls at all. Based on the communiques from Moscow, all was as fine as could be. And now that the Chinese had declared themselves our allies, victory was supposedly within reach. Again. But we knew better. Yeah, so-called one. The Americans are trying to surround us, but they will not succeed. They needed a nuclear bomb to stop our brave comrades at Cascade Falls. And they will need another one to stop us now. Ural 5, what is the status of the convoy? The wounded are in good shape and we are ready to continue forward. Good. Romanov, you will command our frontal aviation assets and protect the convoy. Ural 5 here, continuing ahead. Maloshenko will capture the radio relay station ahead and you must support him, Romanov. We can bring in reinforcements as soon as it is secure. Maloshenko on Sviati. Advancing at this time. Ural 5 here. I've ordered the convoy to continue north along the main highway. Excellent. We are moving. The Americans will not be able to hold us back. So call 1. Out. This is Ural 5. We are moving out. Those trucks carry our infantry and our wounded Romanov. We are utmost to protect them. Yomarit Maloshenko, we do not have time for this delay. You should leave the wounded to the Americans. I will not surrender our comrades to the enemy, Captain. But they will slow us down. As will you if you do not get a move on. Advance and secure the radio relay station as planned. Securing the area now. Good. Make sure the radios remain functional. Of course, Colonel. Malashenko out. Target moving to location. Affirmative departing. Recovery vehicle. Repairing our stopping repairs now. Out. Roll out. Driving. Acknowledged. We're we moving out. Enemy spot. Lock and engage. Yes. Tavarish coming here. Come 
Lukashenko. Relay station secure. Good, Captain. You are now responsible for protecting the convoy flanks. Understood. Lukashenko out. We are repairing the target. So call one to all battle group elements. We have established contact with Army Command. Reinforcements are now available. Uro 5 here. We are taking losses. Help them, Romano. the ambush. Moving at this time. We're moving up. We're repairing the target. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're We will clear the surrounding area of enemy troops so that they don't surprise us again. Romano, use your helicopters to scout our flanks. Destroy all enemies you find. Malashenko, report. The Bayrit Malashenko. The flanks are secure at the moment, but we will have a hard time getting to Seattle at this pace. The Americans are everywhere. Ah, it's a fine mess we have landed ourselves in. Such dreams. Such a disaster. Thank you, we're on the move. As I thought, the Americans are moving more troops into the area. Destroy them, Romano. Attack! 
repairing our comrade. Heavy gunship ready for combat. Moving to the enemy. Товарищ полковник, we should be counterattacking. This countering about the countryside will lead us nowhere. Yes, Captain. To counterattack now would be foolish and rash. We will follow the plan. Tank hunter awaiting orders. Moving to location. Destination confirmed. Flying to the destination. Wing heading for the position. We can starting repairs Let now. Let Affirmative. Flying to the coordinates. We're moving out. Today. Flying to the destination. Destination received. Affirmative. Flying to the destination. To the next waypoint, Romano. Repairing our comrade. Ural 5 here. We are moving at this time. It is uh, unfortunate that we didn't succeed at Cascade Falls. Things would have been different. Yeah, but not necessarily better, comrade. Maybe not. Think we're coming. Yes, the British coming here. Moving. We are in driving. We are in destination confirmed. More enemy vehicles. Wipe them out, Lieutenant. Destination Artillery spreading out now. Shot! Those artillery batteries must be dealt with. 
Romanov, I have a change of mission for you. You are to neutralize the American rocket launchers. We have their approximate locations marked for you. Just on the way. Destination confirmed. Heading out. Destination departing. Tovarish Commander, we're with you. Recovery is Tovarish Commander. has stopped. We are regrouping. Well done, Lieutenant. But we still have much to do. Preparing ourselves. Heavy gunship ready for combat. The Americans have set up dug-in positions in and around the hills. These must be destroyed. We have established contact with some fire support elements, Romano. Call on them when needed. Heavy gunship Communications intercepts indicate an American command force to the north. Then we will destroy it as well. That should cripple them long enough for the convoy to escape. Duh. Then we can concentrate on the National Guard forces coming up from the south. Ural 5 here. Continuing ahead. This is Ural 5. We have several casualties from the barrage. This was unexpected. Try to protect what's left of the convoy, Romano. Should we concentrate on moving forward? If we do so without clearing the area first, we will take heavy casualties. I protest this entire plan. Noted. Now get moving. So call one. Out. Yes, the British coming here. Moving. We're repair. We're repairing. Drive driving. Repairing our comrade. Strike mission received. Cluster bombs are up. Weak. Out. repairs now. Tracks are repairing our comrade. What a repair, repairing our comrade. Starting repairs now. We're repairing the target. This is Ural 
five. We have incoming fire. Spreading out. What should we do? Repair vehicle on the road. Here. We are holding until further notice. We are repairing the We have incoming American fighters. They are warthogs. Take cover. Romano, you will provide air support to second company while they assault the command post. We can repair anything. What a route. You have yet to let me down, Ramana. Don't do so now. Advance! And watch for stray enemies attacking the convoy, Romano. Protection of the trucks is still your main priority. Starting repairs now. Tank hunter moving to location. The convoy is under attack, Romano. Help them! Flying to the desk affirmative. are now less than two kilometers away. They have been busy with the battle. Any word from Army Command on what the overall plan is? None since the last call to rally at Seattle. We are getting sporadic transmissions from other battle groups, but nothing concrete. It's all falling apart. No! We will go to Seattle and let the Americans destroy themselves by attacking us! Yes, of course, Captain. Now secure that command post. It will soon be accomplished. The Americans are targeting the convoy, Lieutenant. Now. 
Milashenko here. Area secure. Good. Ural 5, you are free to move ahead to the next rendezvous point. The road is clear. Acknowledge, Soko 1. See you there. Ural 5 out. This is Ural 5. We are moving out. We run the gauntlet with only minimal losses. Thank you for the excellent support, Comrade Lieutenant. You protected the convoy and the wounded to the best of your abilities, Romano. Well done. Now we must see to defending our rear while the convoy continues on. I have a plan for how we will proceed. Briefing in five minutes. Captain Malashenko and Major Lebedev, you will attend. The rest of you hold in place and stand guard. If we go to Seattle, we'll die in Seattle. The Americans will never allow the Chinese to land. We saw in Cascade Falls how far they are willing to go. What exactly are you saying? We're not going to Seattle. I've made preparations to take the men home. A ship is expecting us at this location tonight. What? And betray our country? It's the right thing to do. I'll accept full responsibility. Were you aware of He's this? He's not in command here. I am. Please try to understand, Nikolai. I am Captain Maloshenko of the Soviet Army, and you are acting like a traitor. I'm doing this for the men, Kulia. Those men don't belong to you. They belong to the state. My wife and daughter didn't die so that you can turn tail and run. But we don't belong here. This entire venture has been a fool. <laughs> Thank you, comrade. Thank you. He was a traitor. I'm taking my company to Seattle. I'll bring the battalion. To victory. To victory. Time to choose, old friend. To all Sokol elements, this is Major Lebedev. The Colonel is dead. I am taking command. Captain Maloshenko and 2nd Company has moved ahead to Seattle. We must organize the rear guard. Romanov, establish a perimeter and hold off all American attack. Uh, you will have to command some of the ground elements as well, Romanov. Do not let the Americans through. Set up defensive positions by the highway. Uh, I will see to the flanks. Frontal aviation will continue to fly sorties for us. Call them for air support. Armor here, Tovarish Commandeer. Our tracks are steady. We can roll out any time. We're moving to the perimeter. Tovarish Commandeer, where do you want us? Tovarish Commandeer, we're with you. Where do you want us? Tovarish Commandeer, where do you want us? Flying to the desk. Affirmative. Tovarish Commandeer, acknowledged. We will move to the new area. Heading for the position. Yes, Tovarish Commandeer. Moving. Heavy armor here. Armor moving out. Destination confirmed. Heading out. American ground force is approaching. And they have anti-air units. Be careful, Romanov. Didn't we see it? Enemy spot. They are attacking us. We are switching communications to alternate frequency four. Do so now. 
Ural 5, acknowledge. Ural 5 here. Ural 5, you have new orders. The convoy is to proceed to the coordinates I'm about to send you. We will fight off the Americans here and then follow you. Understood. Maloshenko, acknowledge. This is Lebedev, calling Captain Maloshenko. Rio. They must have missed the frequency switch. Too bad, but we will manage without them. We can fight through their lines. Armor Fearless is heading for the strike zone. Are you allowed? You want to fire a heat of fixing the equipment. Got 
Others for fire as a target. And I'm moving out. Kill. The virus is now moving out. Getting into position. We're on out. Where can we make things easy? We're still on this machine now. What are you doing? Fire is it. I'm going. We're attacking. Targeting enemy tanks. We're attacking. Yeah, but there must be some mistake. I thought we were going to Seattle. Yeah, the coordinates are correct. The road should be clear. We will meet you there. Uh, understood. Estimated arrival in three hours at present speed. We're out five hours. <laughs> It is acknowledged. Moving out. Seattle, but to an industrial harbor further north where a transport ship is waiting to take us home. This order comes directly from Army Command. Captain Maloshenko and 2nd Company will not be joining us. 
The Americans have a saying, live to fight another day. And that is exactly what we will do, comrades. And then we will honor the colonel's memory by winning this war. Lebedev out. Lebedev here. The eastern approach... They say you're asking me for papers. I'm sorry, Comrade Major, but since Colonel Arlovsky is dead, Cap I can't Captain, without Captain, you know who Comrade Minister Kravchenko is? Definitely, Of course. He is the Minister of Defense. And my father-in-law. Do this, and I'll make sure you're duly rewarded for your selfless service to the state. Major, without some confirmation, I simply And then can't... again, I could just have my men shoot you. Perhaps your second in command is more willing to listen. We'll leave with the tide. Good choice. Tell the men. 